Hello everyone, Saida here. This video is a bit special, it's a bit different because it's coming from a different place, okay? As you know, there have been a lot of things that have been changing within me that have been reflecting outward. So as you know, I haven't been posting the Oracle cards anymore on Instagram. Um, I didn't post a forecast for April, and that's because I didn't feel guided to. I wasn't feeling it, so I didn't do it. So, I've been only doing things, or making the attempt to only do things that are guided by spirit, that are guided by the divine, okay? Which is why I'm making this video today. It was a hard decision for me to make, because I was struggling back and forth as to whether I wanted to share this information that I will be sharing with you today, but I was guided by spirit to start sharing and that it would be vital. It would be very important for me to start sharing this information. And I will be making an effort to share as much as possible, okay? I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll start with saying that a lot of this started after I made the decision to stop posting oracle cards. and. Once I made that decision, so much started to open up for me. Like, it was ridiculous. Spiritually and emotionally and just everything. Everything started to open up for me. My visions became more vivid, more clear. I was having a lot more, like, I don't know, just crazy, intense experiences. And I started to receive more downloads of information. I mean, that was happening before anyway. But once I made that decision to kind of stop and I guess give myself some time to be in the flow of whatever was happening, things really started to take off, okay? And the information that I will be sharing with you today is one portion, one section of the downloads of information that I've been receiving from Spirit, okay? Some of it will be in the context of my experience because I... I'm not comfortable yet with sharing this information, with sharing this information from a perspective, well, yeah, this is how it is. This is my experience, this is how it came to me, and I'm just sharing my experience, and you could take it however you want to. You could believe it, you could not believe it. If it resonates, great, and if it doesn't, that's fine too. You know, um, I'm just doing what I'm feeling guided to do, okay? <clears throat> and excuse me. If I sound a little bit weird, it's allergies. <laughs> My... <clears throat> but yes, anyway. So, yeah, so I started to receive more immense downloads of information, and it would typically come by way of, let's say if someone were talking about something, I would receive information about what they were talking about, like the nuts and bolts of what they were talking about. So I'll start off by saying how this what the first thing was that um, really planted the seed that is now blossoming and growing into a flower, a tree, <laughs> a forest of, of information and experience. All right, so I started to receive visions and impressions of some beings that were coming through from the Orion star system, okay? And I felt very guided to write about it. it. It came to me when I was on my way... No, I think I was waking up and it was coming to me that I was receiving some transmissions from some beings uh, from Orion. So I was like, let me write about it. I feel like it'll help if I could just get it out. So what I did is I got a journal and I started writing and, you know, trying to really sift through this information. And I actually have this information here with me, so just in case, I don't want to forget anything, you know how I am. So, sorry about the noise if you hear it, but what was coming through to me from the Orion star system was a group of beings called Melchizedek, okay? So basically what they were telling me was that Melchizedek is a group of beings. I originally thought of Melchizedek as one being, but it's a group of beings that have been sparked from Orion. They come from Orion, and they bring forth divine wisdom. 
which was then seeded into the, into the Lemurian civilization. Okay, many Earth civilizations, but Lemuria came through very strongly for me. Okay, and I was taken into the energy of Orion with the help of the Melchizedek group. And it seemed to be a gateway of some kind. I'm going to touch upon this later. I'm not going to go into the details of Orion right now. But when I was taken through Orion, it seemed to also take me through uh, the Sirius star. So it was almost like a gateway, and then I was shot up into Sirius, whatever up means, okay? So this was the first day, okay? This was the first day of what I received and what I experienced. And for the days to follow, they continued to stay with me, this, the Melchizedek group. And I was given an initiation into the Order of Melchizedek. Now, there's a lot of, you know, programs out there where you can be initiated into the Order of Melchizedek. That's not what happened. It was a spirit initiation. So it was a spiritual initiation that came through just being in touch, being in tune with them. So I was initiated into that order. Which, from what I have been feeling, it wasn't something new. It was something that I've always been in touch with that might have been dormant. It might have just been sleeping and it was awakened when the time was right. Okay? So, what I was told afterwards, and I took notes on this as well, was that the initiation into the Order of Melchizedek would help to clear old paradigms and it would activate the Merkaba, which is an energy field that surrounds surrounds the body. It's an energy field that surrounds the body. I'm trying to get my words out. But I saw it spinning around me, and what I was told is that it would also initiate an angelic activation. Okay, so now this is the next part that I'll be getting into. What I was... Actually, I'll turn to the page, so I have an idea of... You know what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm very nervous because for me, I have very high standards, and I want to share with you things that are going to be helpful to you. So... I'm trying to do it in such a way that it can be helpful and clear. So such an initiation brings a paradigm shift, and it activates the angelic substratum. That's what I was told. And tuning into this more, what they told me is that it's an angelic awakening, which enables one to move consciousness in a new direction. Okay? And what I was told was that the angelic substratum is a very integral part of the human of, of humanity of human creation getting into this a little bit further it is contained within the in the spiritual dna of all human beings okay and following <laughs> i was shown an image or rather i was regressed back through time and I was taken back into ancient, ancient times, to the time of Mesopotamia. And I was shown that during that time, that a group of angels, and specifically angels, had an influence on human genetics. Okay? So basically what they were showing me is that for human beings, that is, the, that is part of the foundation of what we are because of the angelic influence, okay? So within every human being, you know, there is an angelic substratum or an angelic foundation. And when we activate this angelic part of us, we're pretty much tuning back, tuning back into our most fundamental blueprint, our most foundational, just the foundation of who we are, our most purest, our most authentic self, when we activate this, an, this angelic portion of us, okay? Now, what's interesting about this, and they actually clarified this for me this morning, was that the, the angelic substratum, that's a very fundamental part of the human, uh, of human creation, and there are also people, and I know this because I've experienced it, there are also people that can run what I call an angelic program, which means that when they incarnate in this lifetime, 
they make the choice to embody an angelic being or an angelic energy. Let's say Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing and, um, you know, the angel of, you know, humanitarian efforts and things like that. Or someone could manifest as Archangel Gabriel. Someone could manifest as Archangel Uriel and Archangel Haniel. Okay. But this is where we have the difference. So we have the angelic substratum, which is the foundation of human creation. Um, but not everyone will choose to manifest embodying an angelic type. Okay. So we have the angelic human, which is the foundation. And then we also have those who are running the angelic program. Okay. And I've seen it quite amazingly that some people are running the program of Archangel Raphael, running the program of Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel. Okay, so they're basically bringing in the energies and the wisdom of that stream of consciousness into this lifetime because the world needs it. Okay, so this is just a portion of what has been shared with me through spirit. And <laughs> I, I don't know if there's anything else that I want to share. You know, I guess since I'm making this video, I'll go I'll go back to what I was saying before where I was taken through the gateway of Orion. And basically what I was shown was that the Orion energy is such that it is a gateway to the Akashic records. Okay? So, I mean, that's what I was shown. I don't know how correct it is, but that's the impression that I was given is that Orion holds a lot of information. So when we tune into the energy of Orion, we have access to an abundance of information, okay? So that's what I was given access to in the beginning when I was tuning into that energy through the Melchizedek group, okay? So I think I'll stop there, all right? Just to get this started and get things flowing, okay? And I wanna to try to post these as often as possible and kind of give you updates very frequently about what information I've been receiving, what I've been experiencing, just on my path of ascension. And I'd like this to be a regular thing, okay? So I hope that <laughs> this was okay and that it was helpful to you and it gave you a different perspective, okay? I was nervous, like I said, but you know, hopefully that this will be helpful to you and will give you some sort of insight or inspiration, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.